He's a 15 year veteran with the Macon County Sheriff's Office, and he was sent to the hospital today after being shot twice with a rifle. The Macon County Sheriff says Sergeant Kyle Petty is expected to recover. The TBI says the man responsible, Nathaniel Damien Rabe, was found dead inside the home after being shot by deputies. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spent the day in Macon County and has the latest on the investigation. It happened here off of Stinson Road in Macon County. You can still see the TBI is here collecting evidence nearby. The good news, the deputy is expected to survive. Just off Stinson Road in Macon County, Roger and Susie Hammock I've always loved it here. ended up in the center of it all. I was in the middle of it, but I didn't know what was going on for a while. The Macon County Sheriff says deputies came to a home down the road after neighbors called to report a man with a gun acting irrationally and scaring people. After deputies showed up, the sheriff says the man fired shots at them from a rifle, hitting Sergeant Kyle Petty twice, once in the back and once in the leg deputies returned fire. I was putting my little grandson in the truck. We were fixing to leave and uh, I heard pow, 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 pow. And I thought, well, that sounds awful close to me, you know. After deputies shot the suspect, the sheriff says he staggered into a home where he died. Yeah, it was, it was full from here all the way down, pulled in the yards down there. It was 50 or more, I bet. The sheriff says Sergeant Petty is expected to be okay. Westmoreland police say Petty was alert and talking before being airlifted to the hospital. As the investigation continues, Roger and Susie say they're glad the deputy will be okay. Yeah. Looking forward to their stretch of Stinson Road returning to its typical peaceful self. Yeah, maybe nothing like this will ever happen again. The <laughs> first time, maybe this will be the last time. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.